Hello trainers, welcome to this quick tutorial on GoTyping latest feature, the alert and alert demission functions written in with lip, lip scripts. You can see this documentation of the GoTyping. These functions help traders get real-time alerts on important trading signals like RSI breakouts, wall and spikes, or any custom new object without constantly watching the chart. Let's explore how you can write alerts into the custom into your custom indicators and get notified the moment your conditions are met. Bootyping has introduced a powerful feature in LithScape called the alert function and the alert condition function. Rather, you can write your own custom scripts uh, that send you daily time alerts when important market conditions happen, like uh, RSA crossovers, uh, uh, crossing some uh, levels on a breakout. And uh, the, the important things we need to uh, um, uh, even remember in this one is uh, we have used the LibreScript language for these functions and uh, alert and alert condition functions are limited to the custom book indicators and cannot be used with go charting inbreed indicators. The alert trigger only once per bar and also the alert function is limited to five different custom breed indicators. It's as you can see here, this is the alert transmission function or the function in GoCharty. Now let us understand the difference between alert function and alert condition function in the GoCharty. Uh, let me see. And we will also do a live demo using the RSI indicator and volume indicator. The alert function uh, lets you trigger real-time alerts directly inside your code. It fires automatically as soon as your condition is met, but you won't see it in the user interface. Uh, whereas in uh, alert condition, uh, it is be used to define the alert logic, and then you can set up the alert using the alert reject in the GoCharping platform. Let me show you what step by step. Let us jump into the chart of Bitcoin, a uh, BTC in BitAmps. Anyone make time frame? I I have a. Uh, I wrote a uh, step here for that alerts us when the RFA crossing above the 90. Oh, there is a this escape tank. We will apply it on the chart. Uh, there is some error. Okay. So we have uh, saved the skip and we have applied in the, on the chart at HODL and the lane is drawn at the 90 level here. And when it went out of phase Russell about 90, we get an alert. So to add this alert chart, we need to right click on the chart and the, select the alert and put the parameters out of sight, set it this out of sight, and just uh, light a message here RFI crossing above 90 in VPC USDT. And just be again alert. Now you can go and this is the alert reject. You can go and set this in this one. You can add alerts using the right click button, or you can just go to the add alert function. You can create an alert for this one as well. But remember, this alert uh, only works while left gave to that. You want to chat if you remove. If you remove this, uh, the alert we stop. Now let's uh, look at the alert condition. This one defined the condition inside the skip, but you don't need to act to it, uh, the alert manually. Uh, let's, this is on Bell script, uh, which is used, which has used alert condition function inside the script, where uh, the volume condition is uh, created. Sorry, one minute can do. When the water volume increases to 10, you get an alert. We have to apply this on the chart. The end, I click option to select the alert for the volume. And the method always pop, pops up directly here. And you can see both alerts. We can three here volume has crossed above ping. And this is the RFI alert. We are able to see that. Then also we can feed the logs inside this one. Bam, that fits players. Today we explored the difference between alert and alert condition functions and go typing. Uh, you, these uh, functions are designed to save you time, reduce game watching, and help you act faster on your strategies. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to apply your skips and set your alerts live. And it might, and I'll see you in the next one.